Hey everybody, welcome back to Reviews and Random. Today we are reviewing these JNL noise canceling earbuds. These are truly wireless earbuds. Uh, those of you who follow the channel for any length of time know that I have a huge addiction to Bluetooth headphones. I love them. I especially love the truly wireless. Uh, there's some advantages and disadvantages versus, you know, the, the semi-wireless, we'll call them, that have the, the cable that runs behind your head. Um, but these are the first ones that I am going to try that have active noise canceling. Um, I The headphones that I own, I own probably at least a dozen. I've owned probably twice that in my lifetime, ranging from $2. Yes, I said that. I actually own uh, Bluetooth headphones that cost me $2 to buy, um, all the way up past $200. This at the time that I purchased it was about 60 bucks, which uh, was some of the lowest priced truly wireless headphones that have the active noise canceling. So I figured I've never heard of the brand, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. So without further ado, let's open it up and see what we got inside the box here. So this is the actual charging box here. That's ni nice uh, ergonomics. I guess it's not really ergonomics, but it should fit in your pocket quite nicely without any hard corners to poke. Um, oh, I do like that it has the, the charging indicator right there on the top. Yeah, those look pretty standard for what you would expect for truly wireless headphones. Um, and then let's go ahead and see what else we have in here. I'm guessing underneath here will be a charging cable. So this is the user manual. Not a lot to it. Um, one of the, that's, that's kind of, well, I'm guessing they're not super complicated, but I will try it out and let you guys know. One of the things that I really liked about these headphones is that you can control the volume right directly from the headphones. That's important to me um, because I don't like taking my phone out to just raise and lower the volume. So you can actually adjust the volume from the headphones itself. I'll go through how to do that after I try them out. Uh, and looks like a charging cable. And of course, some different tips for the earbuds. Fit is extremely important with truly wireless headphones because if you don't get a good fit, one, the sound quality is terrible, but two, they fall out when you're doing stuff and you, nobody wants that. So um, what I'm gonna do, uh, unfortunately guys, there's not really a lot that I can do on these reviews as far as showing you stuff. I'm gonna have to do a lot more talking than I normally do, but I'm gonna go ahead and pair it with my phone. I'm gonna try it out for a few days, get an idea of the battery life, the sound quality, and as well as some of the controls, and I'll come back with you and um, talk through some of the pros and cons. All right, so for pairing, let's go ahead and open this up. I think all you do here is take these out. They should automatically power on. Let me take a listen and see. You've got this red and green flashing light if we can focus on it. That see, it says that it is in pairing mode, which I didn't do anything other than turn it on. So now you're gonna go to your phone, you're gonna hit the Bluetooth, pair with a device, and we should down here see, <laughs> you can see my list of Bluetooth devices. I've got a lot of those. All right, JNL. Allow to pair, we're gonna go ahead and say yes. And that's it. All right, guys, so it really couldn't be any more easy to pair with your phone. Um, let's go ahead and give the sound quality a try. Like I said, I'll be back with you guys in a few days to uh, give you my full opinion on these. Um, some of the things that I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna cover sound quality, obviously. Um, I'm gonna cover the fit, the comfort long-term wear, the battery life, um, and then the interference, because some of the, the these Bluetooth headphones actually, as you're walking around doing stuff, we'll get interference from other signals and you'll either lose connection or it'll be kind of a spotty connection. So I'm gonna walk around busy parts of the city um, to test that out as well. And I'll be back with you in a couple days. All right, everybody. I have been using these headphones for about a week now and I have to say I am pretty darn impressed. For the price range, anything under $75, um, I, I feel like this is an excellent value. Um, we'll start with the fit. The fit was quite comfortable. I, w I could wear them easily for the, the four to six hours, which is the battery life. I was getting, I was averaging about six hours uh, of battery life because I didn't use the noise canceling a whole lot. Uh, the more you use it, obviously that drops your battery life down a little bit. Um, but the comfort in my ears was awesome. Uh, even when it got sweaty, they, they held in fairly well. I'd say the right one held in perfectly. I didn't have any issues with that. The left headphone, for some reason, uh, when it got sweaty, would slide out 
uh, occasionally. So I don't know if, if that's an anatomy thing, you know, left versus right, um, or if it ha has to do with the silicone tips here. Um, I tried the other tips to see if I could get a good fit. And it, I mean, this is the best fit for me, so I'm not sure why it would slide out of that ear. I have some other tips from different headphones. I might give it a shot and see. Um, but the comfort, as far as the, the wearability of it, is awesome. Um, definitely didn't cause any, any pain inside my ear, uh, which some of these headphones have. Sound quality, um, probably one of the best that I've had in this price range. They obviously don't compare to the two $300 uh, true wireless headphones. But for the in, in this price range, the base was remarkably robust. Um, the mids and the highs were also really, really nice. Uh, even at high volumes on my phone, that I was very, very clear. Um, I listen to a lot of audiobooks as well. Those can come through crystal clear. The noise canceling, um, it's really hard for me to tell you exactly how much it, it cancels out. It's a super subjective. Sorry, I wish there was an objective way for me to, to actually measure how much is being canceled out. I'd say in the 50 to uh, like, 80% range was actually being canceled out. I will tell you that I was able to mow, mow my lawn without having to have extra ear uh, protection on. Normally I have to wear my like big, the like right, shooting range type uh, ear muffs over the top. Uh, I didn't have to do that. I was still able to hear my audiobook, which is harder to hear than, than music. So I was pleased with that. Also, um, I did use it with my shop vac, literally right next to me as I was cleaning up my car, I used it for a couple hours while I was working with that. And the noise canceling was able to cancel out enough of it that I could clearly hear my audiobook. So very pleased with that. Battery life is true to what the, the manufacturer says, which is about six hours. That's what I was getting without noise canceling. And of course it'll drop a little bit um, between four and five, depending on how often you use the active noise canceling feature. Um, carried this around in my pocket to charge, also to protect, uh, which is, it was, was very comfortable, not an issue with that as well. And I didn't expect it to be because it's it's got a nice design for the charging case. I think the one thing that I, I guess if I'm gonna be super picky with it, the one complaint I have is that they don't have the sensor to automatically stop your music when you take it out of your ear. That's not something I would expect for headphones in this price range. So I'm not gonna dock any points off of it, um, but just know you actually have to tap the button to um, to stop and, and start. Volume's easy to control as well. I will say that, so the, the way that you control the volume is a short tap on the, the right to go up and a, and a short tap on the left to go down. If you hold it too long, um, it activates and deactivates the, the active noise canceling. So if you're tapping, you don't tap and just hold it to increase the volume. You have to just do multiple taps until you get to the volume that you want. Um, but um, there's not there's not really a lot of options on how to control everything using just taps. So I don't have a problem with that either. Just know that that's how it's set up. All in all for the, <clears throat> excuse me, for, for the price range, I am extremely happy with this. I don't regret spending 60 bucks on these headphones at all. So if you're looking for a good mid budget, um, true wireless headphone that's got good battery life and active noise canceling, I don't think you're gonna go wrong with these ones.